In this video, I demonstrate a couple of movement preparations for the swallow palm change of the Ethong Bagua system. The first movement is similar to a squat where I shift my weight on one leg, open the other one, and turn my body, my upper body, towards the longer leg. Then I sit down as low as I possibly can, maintaining my structure and alignment in the upper body, which is the line of the shoulders and the line of the hips, they always should stay parallel with a long and strong spine. I open my legs and keep the line of my knees and my toes together. Try to lower your weight with every repetition, just a little more, maintaining the strong structure of your upper body. Always turn and rotate first before you squat down. Now the second movement is a back step where I lift the heel of my back leg and sit down on it. Step back, lift my heel, sit down on it and again keep the structure and alignment of my upper body while sitting down. Back step, always put the knee of your back leg behind your front calf. You don't see it because I'm wearing these trousers, but it's behind my front leg. Sit down and maintain the structure. Third movement is a little more complicated. You shift your weight back, lift your front leg, turn your toes outwards into a Baibu position before you rotate your body and lower your weight as low as you can without touching the ground with your back knee, keeping the line of your shoulders diagonally towards the ground. Shifting your weight back, lifting your front leg, turning your toes outward into a Bible position, turn your torso, lower your weight and search for the diagonal line of your shoulders. I place my hands on my hip flexors so I can focus more on the stepping and the rotation of my upper body. And in this video, I just use my arms to demonstrate the diagonal line of my shoulders. Shift your weight back, lift your front leg, by bull, rotate, squat low. Shift your weight back, lift your front leg, by bull, turn and rotate your torso and try to keep the diagonal line of your shoulders. In the next movement, I just lift my front leg, imagining that I lift something with the inside of my foot. Lift your front leg as high as you possibly can, again maintaining the strong structure of your upper body. Never round your back in this exercise. You might be able to lift your leg a little higher when you round your, upper, your lower back, but Try not to. Stay strong and lift as far as you can. The last exercise is rotation and extension of your spine. For this exercise I use a little bit of a wider stance before I start circling my upper body. I keep my head in the same line as my spine and I rotate backwards from one side to the other drawing a nice circle. As with all those circular movements I try to find a smooth quality inside of the movement and when I detect an area which is a little bit sticky I might just move a little slower or move backwards and forwards in order to smoothen it out, like so. Now I also include a movement with my hand, much like in the serving teacups exercise that we know from Bagua, but also other Chinese martial arts. 
So there's two circles I draw with my hand, one in front of my belly and the second one just over my head. And you see that the movement of my spine is the same as uh, in the exercise before where I did not use the hand. But again, it's about extension and rotation in your spine. And finish.